Welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Today, it's it's happening. I've never seen anything like that, and I've got no idea how to bring it down. Maybe the scientist knows. However you do it, take that thing out. Oh man, this is gonna be dangerous. All right, I need to probably equip some big explosives can't believe I don't have a single machine gun yet yeah sure we can do that and and that uh, I guess that'll help why was this unequipped ever that's just like a permanent like should always have on you at all times I genuinely don't think that this is gonna matter but fuck it why not all right let's go I'm probably gonna die at least 80 times just gonna keep it real with you that's us and that's a big fucking robot well this always worked out well in the past yeah all right so where am i shooting it though that's my question is it in that is it in the head Yeah, I notice. Gotcha. Gotcha again. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed, buddy. I was already I was already doing that. In fact, that's how much I noticed. Alright, well, there, oh my god. Okay, where is... This is the wrong thing. Don't do that. Don't, don't try to shock me, by the way. That shit's so uncool of you. Ow, oh, shit. Look, I told, it hurts like a motherfucker. Stop it. Oh my god. You know, earlier I was wondering because he said it was fast, and I was like, it doesn't seem that fast. That was pretty fucking fast. That was pretty fast. Ow, asshole. Fuck. Where'd it go? Like, oh, fuck. Oh, yep, that's probably my fault. Oh, shit. Kim, have you missed, nerd? Missed again. Oh, so close. Not quite, though. Oh, something's happening. What the fuck? I don't have a weapon for that, man. Nope, I'm just going directly under the wheels. I don't have time for that. I can just go back to where, shit, I can go back over to where it was whenever it shit them all out. That place doesn't have any. Oh. Okay, I do have more law ammo too, if I remember correctly. I am fresh out of 
healing other than tortilla chips though. Okay, but those things are gone. Um, oh shit. Why did I de-equip them? Oh fuck. Nope, still wasn't fast enough. Incredible. It's available now, Snake. I suggest you fucking get it out. Oh my god, you're shitting me. Okay, running, running, running. All right, going in. I did it. I can't believe I did it first try, actually. I'm impressed. I also can't believe I had so many tortilla chips. Thank God for that. What happened? I'm in there, man. Why did it wake up? I don't like that. It's got me inside of it. I'm scared. Okay, and then you. Okay, yeah, I do remember this because later on. You can unlock memory boards by destroying the mechanical components that they control. Any boards you remove can be used to build our own AI weapon. Memory boards have different. Our own AI weapon, he said. Go ahead and take whichever ones you want. That sounds really fucked up. I gotta be honest, man. Our own AI weapon, he says. All right, that's all of them. No good. That one's broken. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say I was like, but I need to go. I guess I just have to wait until the time goes out, though. Oh no, no, we just get X. Explosion inside of it exploded. What would you say there? You just get blown up inside of it. Yeah. Oh well, thank God we didn't stay in there for that. That would have been a fucking nightmare. I totally kicked that robot's head. That was an unmanned weapon, a prototype. I made it myself. Who are you? I work here. Well, used to, anyway. Name's Huey. Oh, nice. And who might you be? I guess that's Don't why there's no ramp, because he's got a sick Me. future I'm wheelchair. Entomologist. With rockets. Entomologist? Yeah, I specialize in butterflies. I'm here to catch Ulysses. Ulysses? Huh. I didn't think they lived in Costa Rica. Oh, Why the Costa fuck? Rica? That's it. I uh, need to get some before the Washington Treaty goes into effect. Says here Morphos aren't covered under the treaty. Uh, must have slipped my mind. Oh my Is god. Feeling all right? Anyway, long story short, the butterfly got away. The butterfly got away. Did you make that big butterfly too? Uh, yes. And no. What was that thing? What are they doing here? Huh. Something tells me you're no ordinary entity. Oh my god, no shit. Just watch me litter. Oh my god, he's vaping. What the fuck? The nukes were loaded on that machine. The project's entering its final phase. Project. Doc. That's right. Is that an electronic the cigarette? The warheads they brought in? The bases scattered throughout Costa Rica? The mercenaries, the AI weapons, the research we were conducting here. It's all for this. We used this facility to develop unmanned weapons. Unmanned? Robots. The one you just fought was a pupa. There's also a flying type called Chrysalis and a treaded type, the cocoon. Motor control, target detection. Why are they all named after 
capture and transport butterfly shit anyway by an electronic brain there's no need oh i can zoom them. around and look fancy okay demands, why build them here that's them the what is this they invited me here a year ago is this like an exosuit cia station chief for central america goes by the name of hot coldman apparently he was some sort of hero wait what of the cold war okay He's the one i'm hot show. cold man look out for me the peace walker project Come again? What was your name? Can you tell me one? Hot one cold man. Type of nuclear weapon along the Caribbean coast of Latin. Bet it didn't feel very good saying it second time though, huh? Nuclear platform. Unmanned nuclear platform. First time you're like, a maybe I can get away with this. Second time you're like, Ooh, I regret it. nuclear strike. It can move on its own, and stealth shields it from radar and satellite detection. Drastically. <laughs> of course, conveniently, stealth shields it. You know, like, all these other ones we've found, we have them on record, we see them. No one ever thinks to make s stealth a, a thing. Ever. The terrain is full of tropical rainforest. A lot of the time you can't even build a proper road. So I went back to where it all started. What's that? Legs. Walking power. A mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear warhead even more powerful than the Soviet RDS 220s. Oh That's my god. Chico's the best least go. We did the assembly and field testing here. A walking nuke. Oh my god. The original idea from behind the iron curtain. So he thinks that that thing looks like a snake? I thought that he was talking about this thing. Because, like, this thing kind of looked like a snake, but not really. Metal gear. But I don't know now. Because it showed the but little walking legs there. They actually need to deploy dozens of them. Coldman needs funding for that. And to get it, he's planning a test. Which will also serve as a demonstration for the folks back at Langley. Wait. What kind of test? To prove that his perfect deterrent works. Oh, wait. How the fuck do you test a nuke? If attacks us, we will strike back. Put simply, nuclear deterrence is the idea of using nukes to keep nukes in check. If one side launches nuclear weapons, the other is sure to launch theirs. We already heard this, Which that man literally was saying it. In the end, neither side can use its nukes. It's thanks to this doctrine that the world's two superpowers have avoided all-out confrontation. Nuclear deterrence has brought us peace. At the very least, it's prevented another world war from breaking out. But the theory of nuclear deterrence exists only on paper. In reality, there's no guarantee that either side would follow through with retaliation. There's the chance that a preemptive strike <laughs> could destroy all the missile bases, render them unable to retaliate. The idea that they're just like, yeah, everyone's got to have nukes. It's just like, yeah. Let me give you. Seems 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 about up to par with how I feel like most people. Fuck it, as long as we can blow them up also. They're going to be able to retaliate, knowing that they're effectively ending all human life. So then the weak link in nuclear deterrence theory is the uncertainty of retaliation. Bingo. And that creates a loophole Country X can exploit to launch the first strike. Which is why we designed the system to be unmanned. With Peace Walker, retaliation is certain. It chooses the appropriate target and launches a retaliatory nuclear strike every time without needing human input to make the call. Launching a nuclear strike against Peace Walker is tantamount to pushing the launch button against yourself. It closes the loophole in nuclear deterrence theory, rendering our friends in Country X completely unable to launch. But you have to let people know that you have it. Is that to achieve this goal, we need to demonstrate that retaliation will be carried out by a machine. He will launch his nuke. And then his version of deterrence will be complete. That's fucking terrifying. I believe in peace through nuclear deterrence. Why? My father worked on the Manhattan Project. He put his whole life Damn. into research. Otacon's family really goes all the way back to the guy who raided, who, who created the fucking and then I was born. nuclear bomb. Walk. Incredible. I had no choice but to face up to the nukes. But 
If they do end up launching, it'll all have been for nothing. They've got to be stopped. Where'd they take them? Wait, does that make us the weaklings, the people who won't the fire the nukes? The final test is five days from now. Because we're always trying to base. stop them and disarm them. You're gonna stop them? It's kind of a hike. That's what they call the right, Besides, the weak link or loophole theory, whatever the fuck see, he was going on about. Isn't quite finished yet. What do you mean? It's missing one last critical structural component. The AI. It's brain. So what the fuck is always singing? The reptile pod. The electronic brain I was working on can only follow commands like go there, attack that. I guess you could compare it to the human cerebellum. But for nuclear The human cerebellum. Ha ha. Place of a human decision maker. It needs something to analyze the human. I did something to analyze. I just like imagining him as a nerdy. I don't know why. He sounds the exact same. He's got strong fucking genes apparently because he just damn near made a clone of himself. The hardware configuration is modeled on the human brain, similar to the pod I worked on, but its role is completely different. Where's it being made? A research lab to the north. An AI expert named Dr. Strangelove is developing. Damn, that's a on your nose Dr. reference. Strangelove. Strangelove was recruited from the states too. In the field of AI, in your mouth no reference, better, I know. Oh. Sure. What is that what drawing of him? It's so terrifying. I did not like that. Don't do that. Don't represent him in that light again, please. Holy shit, that was actually terrifying. Sure, they haven't finished the final calibrations yet. That face is gonna haunt me. I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. Oh, and uh, one more thing. What's this? A letter of recommendation? Yeah, it's um, it's from me to Doctor Strangelove. <laughs> yeah, Snake looks at it. It just says, "Fuck you." Incredible. I, I'm. That's a scary ass picture too. At this rate, I'm probably already halfway to hell anyway. Not so fast. Why not join us? Our place is outer heaven. You'd fit right in. Outer heaven? Yeah. Holy I'm shit. More suited to something like that than this paradise. Good. You get a free balloon trip for signing up. Enjoy it. You'll feel like a butterfly. You're an agent, right? Who do you work for? Me. I was a Cold War tool. Same as you. Now I'm not so useful anymore, so they cut me loose. I don't answer to anyone. I feel like we bailed out. I don't know if they cut him loose. Snake. The name seems familiar somehow. Well, it's not. Just deja vu. <laughs> See that there? Yeah, future Beyond deja vu. See those ruins? Yeah. That's where you'll find Doctor Strangelove's lab. That's a hell of a walk. I wonder if Snake just like air balloons himself up out of there whenever he leaves places. I never thought about that. I got a lot of shit. Snake, the doctor's safe here with us. Oh, that's Huey. good. How are you feeling? Huey. Huey. Yeah. This is quite the pageant, oh, look, there it is again. This is the picture that they made for him. He looks like ripped. I don't know why. It's like his face doesn't look like it, but then no, he kind of actually knows. His face does kind of look. He just looks like a Tekken character. I don't know how else to explain it. He just looks like a fucking Tekken character. Like, this guy would definitely kick my ass in Tekken. This is definitely like the computer that I'd go up against, and I'd be like, what the fuck is happening? That's him right there. Deterrence theory, Huey style, huh? <laughs> Huey style. Did anyway, you say that? If you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. Great, a new Get person to Sounds good to me, Doc. Press the the frequencies don't matter, you just click the button. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you. Oh, God. 
What's up? Brand rations. Actually, for real. No, no. Oh I'm my god. It may be time we started sending some of them to other countries. You mean dispatching marks? How else are we gonna Why did he whisper to that shit? I know. You're right. Okay. To deploy troops, select outer ops from the mother base menu. If it goes really well, we might even get new recruits, weapon design specs, or leads on new missions. We can deploy any vehicles or large scale weapons in our arsenal as well. And if things don't go really well. Yeah. Oh. We could lose men. I won't try and force you. You're the one calling the shots here, boss. Yeah, I don't have to do that. I think that I do, but like I only do it at like the really low rate ones. Yeah, the outer ops. Oh, look at that. We can finally make one of those machine guns that I was just talking about. Holy shit. So much just happened. Jesus, okay. Well, obviously, obviously. No, why did I do that? Oh God. A lot of stuff just went up because of that. Um. Oh shit, yeah. What is this? Magazines? I mean, the boys would probably like something to read. Oh, lime soda! Holy shit. Thank the Lord for that. I needed that. Okay, okay. Well, you know... On account of the lime soda, I'm gonna have to take these back. I am, uh... Okay, well, I don't have night vision goggles yet, so I guess I'll start those first. Hmm. Well, fuck it, I guess... I guess they get their magazines either way, then... Ah, and these are all healed up. That's nice. Wait, can I? Oh, but I wanted to read it. Why didn't he read it anyway? Snake, you should have read it. All right, so this is Outer Ops. No, I know how this shit works. Okay. So, from what I remember, the E is... the difficulty which means not very like for instance you know just go out there go ahead and throw this fucking tank out in the mix you know what I mean and then we'll get this guy This guy. And this guy going in. Actually, I guess we should make like a whole team. Honestly, why not just throw both mechs in them? Let's just go a little overboard, you know what I mean? Because why not? Oh, yeah. Well, they're going over there, I guess. To do something. Something wild. Anyway, let's go back and do another mission. Guess I'm on the search for... Dr. Strangelove now. Oh, wow. And I got a new armored vehicle battle so I can go and take another mech, I guess, if I feel like it. That's nice, I guess. I'm not doing that right now. I can tell you that much. I just did a big old boss fight. 
need to either shut down or destroy the artificial intelligence that functions as its brain. According to Huey, that AI is now undergoing final calibrations in Strangelove's lab. It's inside a tropical cloud forest. Slip in and terminate that AI before they ship it out. No pressure. No pressure at all. None. Zero pressure. Don't worry about it. You got this. Thanks, man. All right. All the way over. Okay. Nope. Keep going. Keep going. There it is. And then there's that. Um, swap that out for that. Yeah, everything else seems about uh seems about right. Yep. Head north. Okay. Heading north. Chapter two we made it to. Howdy. Look at that. The Phantom Hero. Look, it's Chico. November 19th, 1974, Costa Rica. I should be there by tomorrow morning. You've got to hurry. The AI could be completed any time now. It would be nice to have a guide. Already on it. I've been listening. What? Well, his picture him. makes him look like an evil villain. You are an expert in survival, but you need to stay alert. You are in an ancient jungle so foggy you can hardly see the trees. It is home to 2,500 species of plants, including 400 types of orchids. There are also 500 species of butterflies and over 400 species of wild birds. The bedrock is solid. What is he drinking? My ruins have miraculously survived centuries of earthquakes. Uh, an AI lab in a mine ruin. Who'd have thought? Hey, you and he's just hanging know. out. Exactly. That doesn't mean security is any less tight, though. You still have the ID card I gave you, don't you? Mm, got it right here. That'll get you through the gate, no problem. After that, you're on your own. As long as the AI remains unassembled, Coldman's plans on ice. <laughs> what about security inside the lab? Well, it shouldn't be As he casually just eats a fish. Don't mind me. Just eating this fish. It's not all good. That is awful, Snake. Coldman knows we're here. He's raised security in the area surrounding the lab. You'll be seeing a lot of that chrysalis UAV and a bunch of patrol choppers. Uh. There may be scouts in the jungle lying in ambush. As you approach the lab, be extra vigilant. At least wash that shit off in the river, man. Yeah, I know. I about got found. Strange Love's lab is a few miles to the north. It won't be long before the AI is complete. Don't let that happen. Oh yeah. I wonder what but how are they going to finish it? What's holding them back? Why isn't it already done? You know what I mean? These are the questions that we should be asking, Snake. Careful. If there's enemy scouts around here, they'll be nearly impossible to see. Oh, fuck. Is that a person? Watch out. Enemy search may not spot enemies that are actively hidden. I don't think it's a person. No. Somebody there? Nothing here. 
Goddamn right. Nothing here. Crazy son of a bitch. About gave me up. How you looking in terms of skills, my friend? Uh, let's see. I'll take it. Recovering a helicopter is complete. Good to know. Good to know. Don't worry about me. Just trekking through the jungle. I'm terrified of these ledges. I keep feeling like there's going to be like a sniper or something. That's a damn shame, ain't it? Damn shame. Yeah, see, like, he's not coming with us. No offense, my man. But an E does not qualify for me. There was only, like, three of them. He made it sound so dire. Like, I thought there was going to be motherfuckers in the hills and shit. But nope, just a couple assholes hanging around the base of trees, you know. As they do. Alright, so ideally I'm just going to stick to this wall and hope like hell that I don't see a single soul. Sounds good to me. It's just a casual stroll through the jungle. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Now I'm roped in. Shut up, man. You're loud. You almost gave us away. Sayonara. Man, can you start telling them to shut up when they go up, Snake? They're going to give your position away one day, and it's not going to be very good for you. So both of these ways were blocked, but they're the only ways to go. So I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, well, there's a cutscene that's going to play. That's what's going to happen. It is pretty nice here. What is that? Oh, a butterfly. Sorry, it was so pixely. I didn't. It just seemed like a solid. I didn't know. Ah. They have a helicopter. Well, fuck.